The colder your climate is, the more important your air barrier is with regards to energy consumption. Yeah. Um, because hot air wants to leave your building. So yeah. all the air you're paying for, literally, in a lot of our old homes, five to six times. If you have a house built before 1970 and you've not done a renovation to it, five to six times the volume of your house leaves every hour. Ooh. In? An hour. In, a, every, in, every in, 10 in minutes, hot air, essentially. Yeah. All, every air, 10 yeah. minutes, all the heating you've paid for just left. And you're paying for it all over again. Five to six times the volume of your home yeah. is leaving in regards to hot air is leaving your home per hour. Per hour. Once yeah, you, when, it, it, when it's at peak cold when time. When it's at peak cold so, time. So, so that's just energy. You might as well just be burning your money and sending it out mm. to trying to stay warm. Mm. It, so, so that's why we have air barriers in the building code today, why all new homes have air barriers as requirements. Mm. Um, and, and that air barrier does totally reduce the amount of airflow through the wall.